Hello, and welcome to the first in a series of instructional videos on installing your MAME collection onto your computer. This video series will be using the instruction sheets that you were given while behaving the added bonus of providing visual aid as we will be following each step on screen. These videos were made with the intention of being easy to see, so feel free to use the full screen option. Well, this is only video one of a few, so let's not waste any more time and begin, shall we? Yes. Yes, we shall. <laughs> so, step one. You want to download and install MEME onto your computer. In this video, we're going to install MEME UI, which is MAME but with a built-in front end or a graphical user interface. Where do you find MAME you ask? Well, pretty much anywhere on the internet. It's not that hard to find. You can do a Google search for MAME UI or you can maybe check around to a certain resource on the internet and you might have no problem finding it. Okay, let's assume that you've downloaded the MAME executable file. What you need to do is double click on it, hit run, then we're going to extract it to your computer. Now as you can see I'm extracting to my desktop because it's real easy to find. We just made the MAME UI 32 folder. This is where you're going to put all your files eventually. But if you take a quick peek inside, this is what it should look like. You should have a bunch of empty folders and the main executable file but more on this later right now let's move on to step number two copy your DVDs into the newly created main UI folder now that you've installed main UI in your folder you need to install your DVD files start with disk one by inserting into your CD or DVD drive opening it and highlighting everything and then copying the files into your folder See, if you follow those instructions, it seems pretty easy and straightforward. Let's find out how to do that. Okay, moving on, as you can see, I have installed disk number one into my computer, and it came up with the autoplay feature, and it's asking me these different options. You want to choose open folder to view files using Windows Explorer. Hit OK, and it opens your, opens your disk. Now as I said, we want to open the disk like I just did, we want to highlight everything, and then copy the files into your main folder. By that I just mean drag and drop. Boom. This folder already contains a folder named Stamples, blah 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 blah. When you get this little thing, just hit yes to all and it'll start copying everything from that disk into your main folder. It's that simple. Now this is probably going to take a few hours to do uh, your whole collection. So uh, I'm going to let this run for a little bit and then I'll be back. As you can see, the disc is almost done. I want to check out the clock here. That's how about how long the disc one has been taking. I mean, you can rewind the video and see where I paused it a couple times. <sighs> Should be just about done anyway. But yeah, this is a long process, and since you have many discs to do, uh, just be prepared to sit there for a while. That's all. Take a couple days, do one a day, do a couple a day. However you want to do it, feel free. All right. As you can see, that one's done. I'm going to eject the disc and I'm going to put another one in. I really don't have to do all the discs on the video, but I wanted to show you two so you can see how the process just continues on. Okay, as you can see, I have disc 2 in, it's ready to go, and you just do the same thing as before. Highlight, we're going to drag and drop. Notice it says ROMs, and if you're new in here, we already have a folder named ROMs, it doesn't matter. It's not, it won't overwrite 
drag and drop, it'll just add to whatever's in there. That's why you hit yes to all. It just adds on, it won't erase anything. Alright, while this runs, I'm going to end the video here. And then uh, video 2 will start off with uh, starting up meme. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.